My name is Danny Modlin. I am a PhD student in statistics, and we are celebrating World Statistics Day. I'm standing in front of a life-size scatter plot that we're doing comparing shoe sizes to heights, and we're justifying with the colors of the dots between males and females, and basically so that we can try to find the correlation between the two to see if there's any relationship between your shoe size and actually how tall a person is. And we have a whole bunch of other activities with World Statistics Day. We've got posters inside. We've got uh, a risk and reward little game inside to try to get students uh, across campus to know what the statistics department actually does here on uh, NC State's campus. My name is Beth Ann Tiedemann Miller, and I'm a graduate student here at NC State in the Department of Statistics. And the game we're playing is called Probability with Risk and Reward. And this is Sid. He's going to play the game for us. Also a graduate student here. Okay, so we have three lollipops. Sid can decide to take the three lollipops and leave and not play the game, or he can play the game, and for each lollipop, he gets one chance to drop a penny, this penny right here, <laughs> onto the board. And if he drops it within a square, not touching any lines, then he can upgrade the lollipop to get a candy bar. So. All right, well, I'm going to go for the candy. Okay. Let's try Ooh, yeah, I, think, I, think, I think that's Yeah, I good. think that counts. All right, so you get an upgrade to candy bars. All right, so the odds of me hitting it each time were 25%. So, but the odds of me hitting it one time in the three tries that I had is actually 58%. Well, apparently, other than my point, <laughs> the, taller you, the taller you are, it kind of relates to having a bigger shoe size, but the question becomes, is that increase as you change shoe sizes and getting taller the same for women as it is for men? That's what we're trying to answer. And do you have a large shoe size because you're tall, or are you tall because you have a large shoe size? Well... I guess it depends on how you want to look at it, but basically if you get the big sh big shoe size first, it probably could mean you could end up becoming taller, uh, since most people usually have that boat feet syndrome, I guess, but I would probably say it's based on larger, larger shoe size would relate to having a, a taller height. I predict that you will graduate. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs>